Welcome back to Blog Dev, everyone. Today we're going to be going over Flutter app theming. This is going to be a crash course teaching you how to toggle between light and dark mode, showing you how to set up your app theme, create a custom app theme, and most importantly, how to reference your app theme to utilize different colors and different types of uh, styling in your application. Be sure to watch till the end of this video because every little piece is very important to fully understanding app theming in Flutter. Let's get into it. What you're seeing here is the root base core application that Flutter provides when you create a new project. Although I have shelled out some of the things already, um, I've replaced a couple of things such as adding an icon button to my app bar and changing some of the text widgets in the column. I've also gone ahead and created a themes.dart file. This is the file that we're going to be using to establish our light theme and our dark theme. And we're also going to create a method in here that allows us to toggle back and forth between light and dark. You'll also notice that in this custom theme class that I've created, I have basically used the change notifier class. And the reason for that is we're going to create a listener within our main class, which is going to listen to a method within this custom theme. That way it knows when it needs to update itself and check the theme again. And we're basically gonna call that method every single time that icon button is pressed. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a static bool method called isDarkTheme. And I'm gonna set that to true. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a method that is gonna return a theme mode object called current theme. And we are going to have it return um, an, an optional so if you followed some of my tips on Twitter for Flutter, um, we can do this with optionals. We can say, is dark theme, put a question mark. If it's true, we can return theme mode dot dark. And if it's false, we can return theme mode dot light. And then as mentioned before with our listener, we're gonna create a method called toggle theme. And this is going to say is dark theme is equal to the opposite of is dark theme. And basically, whenever they push the button, we're basically just going to change the Boolean value for is dark theme from whatever its current value is to the opposite value. So if it's true, it'll go false. If it's false, it'll go true. And then we're going to call notify listeners. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna do before we create a custom theme, we're gonna go over to our main.dart file and we're gonna delete my app. We're gonna create my app again, but we need it to be a state full widget, not a state list widget. And so we're gonna say my app, okay? And we're gonna let this stuff stay the same. And in my app state, this is where we're gonna change it up a little bit. Um, instead of this widget build, Actually, we do want that. Instead of a container, we want to return material app. Okay. And before we call that, we're going to have an init method. Void init state. Okay. Super dot init state. That's just the default. And then um, this is where we're gonna set up that listener. So we're gonna say current theme, import that, dot add listener. Okay, and we're gonna call set state. That looks good. So what this is gonna do is basically we're instantializing this listener on that class. So whenever, um, whenever notify listeners is triggered from within custom theme, what it's basically gonna do is it's going to call here and it's going to call set state, which is gonna refresh the state of the application, thus enabling us to toggle the theme because it's gonna check the theme again and the value is gonna be updated at, at that point. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep on filling out material app. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do home and we're gonna set that back to exactly what it was. My homepage 
have a title of a flutter theme demo. Okay. See what it's upset about. Oh, there we go. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to give it a title. And same thing here, just flutter theme demo. And then we're going to give it a theme and that's going to be custom theme dot, and it's going to be called light theme, but we haven't created it yet. We're going to create a dark theme called dark theme. And we're going to have a theme mode set to current theme dot, current theme. Okay. So that's all we're going to do in our main.dark file. You'll see here we're getting errors and that's because we haven't actually set up our themes yet. So let's go ahead and do that next. Okay. So we're coming back over to our custom theme class and underneath our toggle theme method, we're going to create a static theme data object called get light theme. And then we're going to do the same thing just below called dark theme. You'll see here that those errors now went away because they exist. And in here is where we're going to return some theme data objects. I'm going to copy these. Okay. And let's get to filling them out. So we're doing the light theme first. So we're going to do a primary color of colors dot light blue, a background color of colors dot white, a scaffold background color of colors dot white, and then we'll do some text theming. Text theme is going to have a text theme object, and that's going to have values for headline. And we're only going to worry about coloring. We're not going to get too in depth with, you know, customizing this, making it look good. Um, we mainly just want to demonstrate um, the use cases of this. So we have body text one, body text two. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and actually copy all of the contents of this theme data down here in this one. And all we're going to do is we're just going to change up the colors. So instead of primary color being light blue, primary color will be black. The background color will make it uh, gray. And the scaffold background color, we're going to make it gray. And since we're going to have a dark background, we want to change the text to be white instead of black. Okay, and I'm actually going to add for the dark mode, I'm going to add an accent color of red. Okay, and that's all we have to do. So let's go over exactly what's going on here uh, before we run it and show exactly how it's working a little bit better. So what we have here in our main method is we have this material app object that's being returned. It has a, theme, a default theme set to light theme. It has a dark theme set to dark theme. It has a theme mode, which is going to call the current theme object. And the current theme object is going to be set to either dark or light mode. You can see here, um, we either set it to theme mode.dark, theme mode.light. And that is entirely dependent on the value of this Boolean is dark theme. Initially, it's set to true but whenever the user clicks our button, it's going to call toggle theme, which reminds me we haven't actually set that up yet, so let's do that next. But it's gonna call toggle theme, which is going to change the value of is dark theme, call notify listeners, which will in turn go back to our application, hit this init state method, um, current theme.addListener, and it's basically gonna execute this bit of code in here, which is going to refresh the state which will have it check theme mode again, and it'll see it's a different theme mode, and so it'll flip and do the inverse theme. And let's go ahead and just do that one last thing I talked about. You can see here in our onPress method, we don't actually have anything yet. 
So let's go ahead and add that next. So in here, we're going to call current theme dot toggle theme. It's the name for a method, and we should be good to go. So the only thing left to do is to run our application. So I've got my emulator here. I'm going to click run without debugging. Wait for this to pull up. All right, here we are. So initially it's defaulting to dark mode, and that is because we have is dark theme set to true. Now, if we had it set to false at the start and we were to restart our app, you'll notice it starts in light mode. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to test our button to see if our notifier is working properly. So we click it. You can see here it's toggling back and forth. The text color is updating. The top background color is updating to black and then the gray. And on the inverse side, we have our light blue and our white. And the text is black as well. And it's as simple as that. So we're going to go over one more small detail when it comes to app theming. You can take this as far as you want. You can deck out your custom theme with all sorts of information. If I look at theme data here, these are all of the different values that you can set. So if you have a complex color scheme and theme that you want to implement your application, you can do that and you can check out all these different values and you can set them in your custom theme. And what it'll do is it'll default the coloring and the styling of different widgets to this theme unless you say otherwise. So that's the beauty of using a custom theme in your application is that you don't have to type a bunch of repetitive code. Instead of having to type, you know, colors.white in our dark theme every single time, we can just let it default to the white color. So that's the beauty of having um, this type of theming. Now, like I said, there's one more thing that we want to do. And what we want to do actually is we want to default the accent color. So actually not default, I'm sorry, we want to use the accent color in our widget.title. So we have this text widget and we're going to give it some styling that's different from the default. And so we're going to say um, text style and for the color we're going to say theme.ofContext.accentColor. Okay. And what this is going to do is we're basically saying, I want you to get what the current theme is, whether it be light mode or dark mode, and I want you to grab the accent color value and set that to the color of this text widget. So we're going to go ahead and restart this app, and what we should notice is in dark mode it should be red. There you go. In dark mode it's red. And in light mode, it's this blue color. And the reason why is it's defaulting to the Flutter base theme um, because we haven't set it yet. So if we actually do the same thing here, let's copy this, go up to light mode, and let's set it to, um, let's do like a, a green, something very obvious. Okay, that is very hard to see, but you get the idea. Um, we can switch it to the other. Um, let me go ahead and increase the font size here. I'm sorry if that was difficult to read, um, but basically what we're doing is we're setting up some custom color here and we can reference it by calling this theme.ofContext um, object. And another thing that you could do if you want to make this a little bit easier is we can say uh, theme.ofContext and we can say um, theme is equal to that, and that is an object type of, okay, we want it to be final. And so instead of repeating theme out of context every single time, we can just call theme. And so if we were to use this in multiple different places, that's, that's a way we could do it. And there you have it. That's custom theming in Flutter. It's very simple. Obviously, it takes a little bit of preparation and setup. I will provide the source code, though, in the description below. If you found this video useful, make sure you click that like button below and subscribe to the channel for weekly Flutter content, and I'll catch you guys next time.